everybody, my name is Michelle and I'd like to welcome you to this video from the City of Ryde. Today we're going to be making some art from waste. This year we're celebrating 10 years of the Swap Art Awards in Ryde. So that's a sustainable waste to art prize. And I'd love you to join in and make an artwork too. So today I'm going to talk you through Plastic to Fantastic. There will be a link to the educational resource and also some worksheets to give you more details on how to make your artwork. Plastic to Fantastic is all about making collage. So using the rubbish and the waste that we would normally put into the red cycle or into our bins and turning it into art. You're going to need something to make your art onto. So this is a piece of cardboard that I cut out of a box that I had some things delivered to me in. We're going to make a scene. So today, I think I'd like to make the ocean, but you might like to think about some different things. Maybe it's the country, maybe it's the wildlife, maybe it's creatures that live in the air, our Australian wildlife, or even in the ocean. So think about some landscapes that you would like to explore to make with your plastic collage. So I've decided to do the ocean, so I'm going to create a blue backdrop to begin with. So depending on what your scene is, you'll want to choose different colours of packaging to cut out different colours. And down at the bottom, I've got a blue plastic bag. You might also like to use some old wrapping paper that you have at home. Maybe you like the coloured side, or maybe you like the silver side. So using my bag, I'm going to get some scissors. You'll want to have a collection of different scissors for this. Some of the rounder scissors are good, also some really sharp pointy ones. These smaller tipped ones are good for getting into corners, and these ones are really good for nice, strong, smooth cuts. Moving on to the glues and the tapes, try to use the least toxic option available to you. So the glue dots and a glue stick is a good place to start. You might need to move on to maybe some masking tape or some double-sided tape. Sticky tape is really good for attaching things onto the back of your board or even some packing tape if you've got a really big surface area that you're trying to work with. If you need to use glue, you can use a school glue, maybe a clear craft glue. This is a super, super sticky strong glue and this is a PVA wood glue. I'm going to use my sharp ones to begin with. I'm just going to cut down the seam of that plastic bag. And I'm going to wrap my cardboard in it. I'm going to lay it down and wrap it up like a present. So I'm going to use just some sticky tape for this part. So tape it down so it's sitting nice and flat at the front. You want to take some time carefully folding it so that the edges look nice and neat. So I've got the backing down on mine and I've swapped to a canvas. This is an old canvas that I had at home that I wasn't using anymore and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I've reused it and turned it into a backdrop. And as you can see, I've got my blue plastic bag, but I've also started to cut out and stick on or collage lots of different colours of blue, different shades of blue to give me depth to my ocean. So down the bottom it feels like I'm deep down in the ocean and up at the top it feels like I'm slowly moving up. So I've looked through my plastic packaging and I've found different colours. So I've got some green, some light blue, some purple and some dark blue. And I chopped them all out with my different scissors and I made them in little wavy lines and I cut a lot of them. You might like to think about the background but also the foreground and lots of details. I've also used this builder's tape and this builder's tape has helped me on the back of my canvas to attach all of the plastic onto the frame so it neatens it up and makes it look really beautiful when it's going to be hanging on my wall. Also think about the edges of your artwork. So if you've made a pattern on the front, 
Think about continuing onto the side too. So if you're walking past your artwork, you still get to see the beautiful designs on the side too. So using some cardboard scraps, I've drawn some fish onto some cardboard and then I've put some plastic packaging down with the orange and then I've put glue all over my fish shape. For my next fish, I did exactly the same, but I've also added a piece of foam. So at your home, you might have some foam from the fruit and veggie shop, or maybe the butchers, which you can wash and reuse. And this way, it's going to make my fish stand up and be more three-dimensional. So he looks like it's swimming through the ocean. I've used a purple plastic packaging wrapper. And then I've also used some rubber bands for his fins. I've also used some different coloured markers to put some details on my fish. Finally, for my last little fish, it's just little scraps of plastic packaging. And then I've used some coloured markers to put in some extra details for the lines with the fins. With my coral, I've made thin bits and fat bits, again, just out of a scrap of cardboard from my kitchen. It's up to you what you'd like to use. You might like to have the writing come through to add a different layer as well. So now we need to have a look at how our artwork can be put together. Maybe this looks better at the side. Maybe this fish might even come in underneath the coral and go over the top. This one, you might like to have it hanging off the edge of your artwork. And this one might be pointing up to the sky. Now have a look through your house and see what else you can add. I found an old happy birthday sign. So I'm gonna tuck that into my coral to make it look extra three-dimensional. And these are some plastic wrapping that have come off some florist flowers. Make sure that you cover your edges, fold them and make them look neat and beautiful. And try using different types of glue until they all stick down together. So that's going to be my artwork. I wonder what you will do. We'd love to see your photos. So please make an artwork out of some plastic packaging at home, make a beautiful collage and share it with us on the link below. And don't forget to enter the Swap Art Prize. Can't wait to see you there.